products for us this year. Two eyeshadow palettes I have to talk about. Another fail was a product we were really excited about. Another product that I thoroughly enjoyed this year. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video that I thought about literally all of 2017 and it is my best and worst of BoxyCharm. If you guys remember, fade back to 2016, maybe it was the beginning of this year, I really can't remember, I did the very first Best and Worst of BoxyCharm, and I don't know if this is true, I couldn't find it beforehand, but I might have been the first, or amongst the first, to actually do that type of video. In reality, I was newer to BoxyCharm, I'd had it for about a year, but also when I decided to start YouTube, Everyone this time of year was doing best and worst of 2016, whatever year it was, and it was just like, I don't have that much makeup to review other than my BoxyCharm makeup, and really that was what inspired me to do the best and worst of BoxyCharm, and I got so many flooded comments of people being like, I've never seen this before, this is so helpful, thank you for doing this, and that's how a lot of people found my channel, is really through my BoxyCharm videos that so many of you have found me, so this has been a serious project for me all 2017. I literally have listed here every single product that we've gotten for the year, my thoughts on it, how I liked it, did I declutter it already, so whew, this is gonna be a video. And this video could go on forever and ever and ever, so I will do my best to keep this tamed down. I know these videos are becoming more and more popular as well, so because you guys know I'm extra, in case you didn't know. This is not my grand finale for BoxyCharm. There will be one more, at least, really big video regarding BoxyCharm for me to put out here for you guys to show my appreciation to you guys and my love for BoxyCharm. So stay tuned, because there is another big BoxyCharm video coming that I don't think anybody's done before. Just like previously, my best and worst. So let's get into it, I'm so excited. How were the boxes? I've always said, what's in the box? Now the question is, how were the boxes? So I have a pile over here of best and a pile over here of worst, but the pile of worst is much less, but also because I've also decluttered some things. So some things are gonna be up on the screen, some things I'm gonna be able to hold for you and maybe even throw out on camera. But the best list is like, I mean, I had to tame it down because BoxyCharm was so good to us. And I really had to start thinking of the things I use more frequently and things I reach for more often. So let's jump in. So the first things I'm going to be talking about definitely had some drama throughout 2017, kind of controversial, but the products I'm going to talk about first have really been my favorites. The fact that I still have some of it because I have been like coveting it and using it sparingly also tells you that I have been loving it. And it is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion and Pore Dermabrasion products that we got this year. The drama behind this was, if you don't remember that video, this little guy in the packaging. It looks like it could be full, full, but it's really like only filled two ounces. So there's not as much product in here as people thought. That did kind of suck because I love both of these. I love the products in this. It's amazing. It does really well for my skin. What I tend to do is alternate. So when I take a shower, like maybe some days I'll do the microdermabrasion and then maybe a week later or four or five days later, I'll use this. I'll just kind of like take turns with it. The fact that I still have some is because I have been trying other things, but I've also been really coveting this. So love these. These were huge wins and they're crazy expensive. So the fact we got them in boxy charms that are $21 a month, amazing. I'm not going to go by months or anything because that would be far too complicated. I'm just going to go through everything that I love. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about is my highlight and contour palette by IBY. If you are not new to my channel, you know I use this all the time. I mean, look at the pan on this. I love it so much. It's great to travel with. It's got a beautiful little mirror up here. Super lightweight. I think some people even compared this to the Anastasia palette. That's debatable. I understand that. But I like this a lot. I reach for it all the time. A product I was not in love with that I don't have anymore because I decluttered it on camera and it made me feel free of yuckiness was the concealer collection palette. I had that baby for a while and I did a video with it trying to help you guys learn how to use it better. <sighs> It was okay, but there was some controversy behind that as well because it was priced on BoxyCharm for being 
a significant amount. It wasn't crazy expensive, maybe like 15 bucks or something, but it was found at five below for like $5. So that really upset a lot of people and the quality of that product definitely five dollars i ended up gifting that away to a friend who had a younger daughter who could play with it and i used the word play intentionally because that was not real makeup it was gone Ooh, that oh that's almost one of my worst ones so to start with there you can only get better from here another product that i thoroughly enjoyed this year it was actually a love and hate situation and it's because it is a combo palette this is the bare minerals invisible light palette it's got a cute little mirror here which is great for travel but then it has the glow side and the matte side I have talked about this before on my channel but I adore the glow side you have seen me reach for it all the time I'll take a brush highlight just right under the eyes here it's amazing the matte I have never fallen in love with I keep trying it every now and again just to kind of see will this give me something and so far not terribly impressed with it to be honest i'll keep reaching for it just because it's attached to my favorite glow powder but for me this is a love this is a eh. but how exciting that we got to have a bare minerals product in our boxy charm amazing something i like to use with this is a luxie 640 tapered brush this like everything else had controversy this past year because if you looked at the reviews when people received their brush a lot of them were bent a lot of them were just came really jacked up mine has been okay to still use even though it's slightly curved it's not a big deal I like to use this with this because I literally take the long bristles swirl it around in here and then just go right under here and it really is like having a filter on your face I adore it right here sometimes in my forehead and then I'm good to go Love both of these so much. Big ones for me. Another fail was a product we were really excited about. So many of us got a damaged slash bad product, and that is the MAC Pencil. I'm not going to beat this too much because I beat it up throughout the year after I got it. Um, this is the MAC Lingering Eyebrows Crayon. It's a great color for me, and I was really excited about this just like everybody else but I got a really, really dry one, so it kept breaking off every time I would try to use it, and then any other time that I finally got it to work, they looked great, but the struggle and the length of time it took to put them on because I had a dry one sucked. So this is definitely in my worst category for 2017 with BoxyCharm because as awesome as it was that it's an amazing product and we got to have some Mac in our boxes, we didn't get fresh product we kind of got, you know, like the back store stuff that nobody could sell or some crap. So, ew, not a fan. A product that I do like and that I actually have as a base under my lips here is the Tartiest Lip Paint from Tarte. We recently got this. I really enjoy the formula. This is in XOXO. I like this well enough for having a bold red lip. I've told you guys before, I don't always gravitate to a bold red lip all the time. So. I enjoy the formula a lot. It kind of stinks that it's not a shade I would use more frequently, but it's great and it gets an honorable mention from me because I now have an, a platform of being like, I want to buy more of these because it's amazing and we got Tarte in our boxy charms. Hell yeah! Some little products that I didn't know I was going to like as much as I do are these small Luxie brushes. Now we've gotten Luxie brushes in the boxes before and I've always loved them. But these little travel guys, I was kind of like, oh, I didn't realize they were these tiny little nuggets. Am I going to be able to use them? I have just positioned these in the front part of where I keep all of my brushes so I remember that they're there. But they're amazing. I specifically like, and I've said this before, the Luxie 221T to really be able to go under my lashes here and do a pop of color under my eyes. And I also really love the Luxie 213T. This, I believe, is compared to a MAC brush. I'm not sure which one, but I love this to get it wet, pack on some shimmer, and get it all over my lid. These are the two major standouts for me, but these other two have been amazing as well, and I have reached for them a lot since we've gotten them. I cannot wait to keep using these. So these definitely get a best category for me. So this little product here isn't like the worst thing in the world, but to me, it was such a waste that I, it, I don't ever touch it. I have not touched it since my last video where I talked about it. <laughs> And I actually still have it at least, but it is the DLS Eyeshadow Crayon. This is in the shade Illusion. I tried this for you on camera. I did several days wear test. The only thing this is good for is like being a sticky base for a stickier loose eyeshadow. 
This sucker sucks because you don't see it on your eyes. I think some people could get it to work well and it could be because I have oily skin. But I'm pretty sure, let me look at my notes. I'm pretty sure this little guy was like not super cheap like according to the card in the box. I think it was, it was more expensive than I thought it should be considering it kind of sucked. So not a big fan of this DLS eyeshadow crayon. Won't get another one for myself. The only reason I haven't gotten rid of it is because it is a good base for those loose pigments. But other than that, I forget it exists. So this is kind of a worst for me. Brows were a big deal this year with BoxyCharm to the point that it totally changed my brow game. I changed what I use frequently. So the one that I've been reaching for this last half of the year since we've gotten it is my Winky Lux pencil. I've talked about this probably at nauseum, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. It's a dual-ended pencil, cream on one side, brush on the other. It does not swatch well. I've said this several times, so people probably decluttered it right away, being like, oh, so unimpressive. But when you put it on your brows, blend it through with the brush. For me, it's everything. Thing I need it to be. Love it, love it, love it. Let's talk about eyeliner. I don't own this anymore because I decluttered it on camera. I got rid of it and freed myself from the Bella Pierre gel eyeliner. It was in a pencil format and for me it ran all over. I tried it on top of my lashes, I tried it under my lashes. For me it did not work well, it didn't last long, it would smudge throughout the day. Oily skin. Could be me. Could be me. I always say I could be the problem because I'm a problem. But I didn't like it. Decluttered it immediately. Can we talk about an eyeshadow brush that has changed my life? Not even sorry that the BMX 430 crease brush from the Moda Pro Trio that we got has been the standout eyeshadow brush for me this year. I think this for me wins that because it has the perfect dome shape up here. It's great for blending. It's great for so many eye looks that I, like I said before, have used this for almost an entire eye look without even trying because it's just that great. It's amazing. This brush for me has a great grip here. I love the build of it. I love the structure and the bristles are amazing. The hardest part is trying to keep it clean so I can use it for all the dramatic winter looks I like to do. There's been a lot of like Eh, lip products for us this year, so I'm going to talk about a few more. The Girl Power Lipstick, um, I've talked about it in a few videos. Decluttered that sucker in my last declutter right before I moved because I kept trying to use it and it would go so patchy, it would dry, and then you try to reapply it where it was patchy and then it would apply patchy. For me, it didn't work out well. I just had to get rid of that. And I'm also going to probably be getting rid of this Laga Cloud Lips. Oh, come on. Yeah, here it is. Little lip bullet here. It's in a very vibrant shade. And it's just so creamy that it's kind of like just too creamy for me. It's a really pretty color. But when you apply it, like when I try, I have decent sized lips. But when I try to apply it to like my Cupid's bow and stuff, it just gets really messy. Even with a lip liner. I tried it several different ways. I think this is also like $17 or something crazy like that. And I was like, but why? Why was it $17? There's a, I could get ColourPop that'll last all day, not run all over my face for six. No. I think after you know what good quality makeup is and you don't have to spend a lot of money on it, you're just kind of like, no, no, no. A brush that I fell in love with in the spring and now winter has been my So Susan fan brush. I love this particular item because we had a vintage highlighter from BoxyCharm early in the year that I do love and I like to use this just so precisely right up here because it's so icy and cool. These two work fantastic together. But not only that, it also goes in with another favorite that you know and you were expecting to come. Let's just have a moment of silence for it. Highlighter. You love it. I love it. We all love it. It is a very fragile product. You need to pretty much wrap it in bubble wrap whenever you take it anywhere, but it is fan-freaking-tastic. A few of my subscribers have said some other shades that they have. This is Rodeo Drive. Um, some of you have told me some other shades to get, and I'm looking into those now. Thank you for those tips. Love this. This gave me so much glow. I could use it on my shoulders. I could use it on my face, under the eyes. On the eyes, it's amazing. <sighs> Love this. Not sorry, I've talked about it the entire 2017 since we got it. This really was almost kind of like boxy charm. You gave us this, and then you gave us so many other crappy, loose, artsy, skits, highlighters. It's like 
You can't start with A grade and then give me a C. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, this is fantastic. Artist Couture, Artist Kahoo. The next product that really changed my beauty game in 2017 were these PUR Pro eyelashes. I really, really love these. I think I'm just gonna invest in another pair of these because I, I really appreciate how well they fit, how they feel, how long they last. Ardell's are good and other ones are good, but these really gave me like a gateway to trying them and gave me like the opportunity to step out of a comfort zone and try something new. So, so grateful that we got something that was kind of pricey in our boxy charms that upped my game. I know not a lot of people were excited about it because they're like, I'm never going to need eyelashes. I don't give a shit about eyelashes. Totally understand it. For me, this was awesome. I really appreciated getting them and it's upped my game. Speaking of eyelashes, you know I can't talk about eyelashes when talking about our Tarte Mascara. We just recently got this, it's so exciting. I have been reaching for this now more than I do some of my other go-tos, such as my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Love this so much and I'm gonna keep using this until it's empty and then I may go buy another one, maybe. Two eyeshadow palettes I have to talk about are, I mean, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna do the one that's okay first. I mean, this is a, this is a best for me. This is the Tarte eyeshadow palette because, again, this was another gateway product for me because I don't have a lot of cool toned eyeshadows. I definitely gravitate to warm, but I never had a Tarte eyeshadow palette ever, 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 ever. So the fact that we got one in our BoxyCharm, $21 a month, this plus four other items was amazing. And this, I mean, quality packaging, quality shadows, super exciting. But the palette that I reach for a ton, a ton, and so do you guys who tell me all the time in the comments, is the PUR Soiree Diaries palette. I love that this is easy to travel with. I love that it's made of like a cardboard with a mirror in it. It's great for travel. And these shades can give you multiple looks. You don't have to just kind of have one standard or two standard looks. This can give you so much variety. I am obsessed with this and really grateful we got this too. Now I am down to the last two products to talk about and they're both lippies and one is a best and one is a worst <laughs> which one should i do first i like to end videos on a happy note so let's talk about the product that made me so angry this year i went on a full tyrant rant about it it sucks because i love the packaging i love the mission behind this company i love so many things about this company but we did get a lot of products from this company this year and not all of them were great Let's talk about Real Hers I Deserve the Best Lipstick. How many of you remember my whole rant about this? No. Uh, the reviews were absolutely correct. You have to wait a full hour. And the whole time I was driving and I was just getting to work, I was angry at this product because my lips were so sticky. Not just like tacky, not just lightly like, mm, a little uncomfortable. No, full on would stick together. I was like, how the hell am I going to get this off? Because it is very, very strong. I was excited about this. I at first thought it was like a, like a bullet of lipstick. Then I realized, oh, it's a liquid lipstick. This is amazing. And then I put it on and I waited an hour and it still wasn't dry. It was still extremely tacky and extremely sticky. Not just uncomfortably tacky. No, really, really, really sticky. Don't get on a tangent. Don't get on a tangent. Um, it took an hour and a half for this to finally like dry down for me, for me. I get that I'm not the same as everybody else all the time, but I tried this twice, it took an hour and a half and then it, it was stayed all day after that, but then it started to patch off and people would like stare at my lips and be like, what's wrong with her mouth? Does she have some kind of disease on her lips? No, it's just this, it's this. This sucked for me personally their lip liner was great their eyeshadow palette that we got i'm not mentioning in my best so it wasn't the worst it wasn't the best it was okay this made me so angry i went on a full rant about it let's just move along to the happy note of ColourPop. i love that we got ColourPop twice this year not always a fan of the shades i get it me too surveys boxy charm surveys but the color beeper i'm actually wearing on top of that red shade now that i showed you earlier and i kind of like how it's given it this deep burgundy feel but i wear this alone all the time you guys ask me all the time what i'm wearing when i do wear it i love this shade it's great for fall great for summer great for spring great for winter great for every season boxy charm can we give a round of applause for our friends at boxy charm Guys, I love doing BoxyCharm videos for you. You know they're my favorite things to do, to talk about. And again, don't forget, I have one more super secret box 
BoxyCharm video for you guys that, again, I don't think anyone's done before. Just like my best and worst originally. I'm pretty sure I'm one of the first OGs for that. So thank you guys so much for watching my best and worst of BoxyCharm for 2017. I'm sure there are more of those videos going around now. I've seen a few of them out there. And I actually kind of agree with so many people out there. We're all kind of feeling the same vibes lately. Thank you so much for watching BoxyCharm. Thank you so much for another amazing year with you guys. I can't wait to see what 2018 holds. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.